What's going on everybody, it's Paul here and we have another episode of the Ratchet and Clank HD Collection. So, uh, right off the bat, we're back here and we're gonna be destroying these boxes right now. I didn't destroy them in the last episode and oh shit! Enemies, let's get these guys out of the way. There we go, now I'm gonna use the bomb glove for Beliza and we're good, we're good. Now, we were right here when the episode ended and I think we're gonna be doing the race in this episode. And there was an easter egg you guys were talking about and I'm about to go test that out in a second. Um, I do read every single comment you guys leave me, so please tell me more if you guys have any. But uh, let's get all these bolts first. That's 12k right there. And that should be about it. Oh, stack of them over there, but let me just get these. Just trying to get everything I can. I thought that was a box. Uh, and I'm really trying to stay cons consistent with my uploads. I'm not trying to go without like two days passing by again. And let's see this. Let's see this glitch. Uh, I don't really see it. Do you guys see it? I don't. I don't see anything happening. Uh, yeah, this is not working. I don't see it working. All right, whatever. Let's just go into the race. Okay, so now we're actually in a hoverboard race, and that was the real transition right there. And we're gonna have to try to beat these guys. So. What you want to do is try to get through these accelerator rings, and there's actually a glitch in some of these races where people get the most amount of uh, bolts as they can. And I'm trying to focus here because these guys are really fast. But for doing tricks, you don't really get anything during this race, and I really think I'm about to fail. Ooh, right here's a mountain of boxes. Now, there is a skill point. I saw that also in the comments, and I already know about this, but... If you do a certain type of trick, which is like pretty much using every single button, you'll unlock a skill point. Now by unlocking the skill point, that means that that's- Oh shit! how did he not fall off his board? By unlocking that, that's one step closer to the platinum, but I'm not going to be doing that yet guys, because I want to do an all-in-one episode, so we're going to just take our time with that and- Oh crap, I'm still in second place because this douchebag won't get out of my way. Now we're gonna go over here, jump up here, oh come on, second lap, come on, whoa, that's pretty close, thank goodness this wasn't the final lap because that would have been bad, alright, there we go, we're taking the first place, let's not crash into anything, and we should be good, uh, let's get all the turbos just in case, turbos, nice, nice, whoa, gotta keep this, no, yes, no, he's catching up, he's catching up, he's catching up, Aw oh, man, this is really close. Please don't tell me he's gonna win. If he wins, I will smash. I will go Hulk and I will smash. Come on, come on. Come on. No, no, no. Yes! Hi folks, Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey look! That's us! Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market! Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Tonight, remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic Channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quarktastic day! Okay, so now we have the Platinum Zoomerator, and uh, guys, I did not realize how epic this place looks. I mean, these lighting effects and everything, it's really cool if you guys just take a look. Very, very cool area. Now let's head over here. Oh, crap. And there's a cage. Way to go. Um, We're going to be taking this back. Definitely. Almost 14k bolts as well. That's probably one fifteenth of the way there for the Rhino. Maybe two fifteenth. Not really. No, no, it's one. Uh, heading all the way back. And yeah, guys, Insomniac and Naughty Dog did share code in their games. That's why you see the Lurker Shark there. And there were areas that look exactly like, well, similar to the Red, the Jack and Daxter um, areas, like the Precursor Basin. Let me buy some ammo here. Hi there, fuzzball. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The Precursor Basin looked exactly like, well, similar to 
Damn, I keep saying exactly. It looks similar to the um, Drex uh, flagship, I think it was. But anyway, gonna jump over here and try not to fall in. Or else we're gonna die and I'm gonna cry. No! Crap. Oh my god. I saw that coming. Definitely. Now guys, today, this is... Actually, this should be up right after I record this, but there was a really tragic accident at the Batman movie, um, at the Batman movie premiere, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard this, but there was some guy that dressed up in a mask and decided to kill many, like, 13 people and wounded, like, 59 at this movie theater, and my heart goes out to them. It's really, really sad, but, um, yeah, I was about to go to the midnight release myself, but I decided not to. I'm not going till Sunday, but that's just really crazy. And, uh, yeah, that's what I gotta say. But anyway, by using the liquidator, we drain the pool of its water. Now, not the liquidator, a hydro displacer. And we can drain that pool and put it back in this one. So now we can reach passages like this. Now, when you do this, you want to just jump across. And there are sometimes lurker sharks in the water, so please be careful. I am not responsible for your death. And there's another one. This is an, sometimes they use as puzzles. Uh, maybe I shouldn't drain it. I've seen, I've seen some areas where I don't have to drain it, and this I do. Never mind. Never mind. Let me up. Let me up. But the swimming is pretty much like Banjo Kazooie. Have you guys ever played the game Banjo Tooie or Kazooie? Uh, and the swimming mechanism. Oh, wait, why is this like a climbable? Is this climbable? Come on, let me climb it. Nope, it's not climbable. Yeah, if you guys have ever played uh, Hydro Displacer, if you ever played Banjo Kazooie, the swimming, it was almost exactly like that with the bubble meter and everything. Um, that was one of my favorite games in my childhood. That was actually a game I played all the time when we played four players on that back in the day, son. Uh, nothing to do in here. We're going to have to replace this. Banjo Tooie was really one great game, and. I think I remember one sp one specific one specific oh my god I'm so tired right now one specific type of developer for one of these next next gen games were actually striving to aim for something like that I don't know if it was Naughty Dog but still it's really interesting and that game just revolutionized my way of looking at games until now where first person shooters take over everything and now a lot of commentators call themselves commentators when all they talk about is like I don't know the types of bull labs they've gotten, which I don't even think is commentary anymore. That's why I've kind of stayed away from the Call of Duty scene. I've pretty much stayed back on Let's Plays because I think they take more skill as a um as a commentator and more skill in editing and all of that stuff. And I just get surrounded by so many better people than what you see in those other types of vids. But anyway, we're gonna get these, and right here we're gonna have to get ready because this is gonna be epic. So push the button. Oh, I missed. Okay, now the place is filling up, but we gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. Really fast. Now, I actually failed this on my... Oh, shit. I almost failed this on my, on my test run. This was pretty crazy. I really like the graphic effects on this, even though it's pretty old. Um, well, I'm saying I'm um, too much. Gotta get these guys out of my way. I did fail, and I don't, I'm trying to not to panic here, because I think it was right around here. Oh, no. It was right around here when I got over this is where, yeah, it already filled up. And I don't have a gas mask or anything, so we're not going to be able to survive. Oh, we're good. All right, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, shit. Oh, no, this whole place is flooded. Please don't tell me this is it, because I remember last time I failed right in front of the area. You guys have seen this happen so many times. The pre-let's play, Chris? Is that the top? Is that the ceiling? Yes, come on. Yeah! Eat that! Yeah! Alright, so that's been taken care of. We should be good now. That should be it. That's just ridiculous of how much stuff they put in my way. This is a very long elevator. Thank you, sir. Keep the change. And, uh, yeah, we're here. This is the other side of that wall that was locked off. And let's get the boxes real quick. They're trying to give us as much bolts as possible because this is where we have to fork over a ton of cash. So let me just open this door real quick because I want to make sure I have access to this side. And these guys are just retarded. Uh, oh crap! 
gotcha. Okay, there we go. Now... Should I go talk to him? I don't feel like working over both, but you know what? Just for you guys, I will. Hey, hey, hey! Press conference is over! Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer! Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick! Now beat it! But sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark won't understand once we- Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the Captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million bolts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making six bolts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate Quark! So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. So he's making six bolts an hour when I just destroyed crates full of like a hundred and something. But yeah, guys, one day I will look as ripped as this guy. A vlogs may be coming soon. Maybe one day. Oh, that was crazy. And I heard there's a bit of a glitch. Let's just see this. We can actually see Captain Cork. Can we see him? From back here? No? Oh, uh, never mind. I don't even want to glitch anymore. You just pay him his money. Garrett, Garrett. You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark? What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends. We're all in grave danger, and I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you, and I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean, I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, but Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraption? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quarkly quit? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself, learn the secret, and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Meet me at. <clears throat> Uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet, what do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. We won't fail you, says Clank. Now, we're gonna be- I think we're done with this area, let's check. Wow, we're left with that many bullets, that's just ridiculous. We're pretty much done here, yep. Now, view missions, we can go back to Skid's agent and give him his- whatchamacallit, the Platinum Zoomerator, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So, without further ado, I shall skip to us going back there and pretty much giving him this, so see you guys then. Fantastic! You got it! Great work, kid. So, are you going to represent me? You bet, kid. And as a signing bonus, I got this. Cool helmet! That is a sonic summoner. It is used to attract sand mice. Right, and it's all yours! <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork. <laughs> I'll have my people call your people. Do you have people? The sonic summoner allows you to interact with the mysterious and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice are very effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a bit of high caliber tactical assistance. Yeah, so, um, guys, we pretty much, let's go back to the ship. We pretty much just unlocked the Sonic Summoner, which I don't really like to use that much because of the way the uh, gadgets are set up in this game. But it is actually a pretty good, um, 
and gadget anyway. But uh, yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, please remember to leave a rating. And let's see what we got. Right now, we have every area completed except for the one that just showed up. So now that we finally have gotten back on track, we can actually head there in the next episode. So please, guys, please like this video. It really helps a lot of people find it. And uh, if you guys really enjoyed it, subscribe because you'll see a lot more. Anyway, guys, if you guys really enjoyed this, also, um, please remember to share it. And this has been the covers, and I don't know why I'm taking such a long speech to be out. I need a soda. God damn it, I'm tired. Anyway, guys, see you guys later. Peace.